really walking in the house in my room. Gotta make a pretty doll. She don't like wearing clothes. Just left Kong Kong. No Carolina. I was licking on booty in a whole lot of vagina. Eat a pizza with some ice cream. She remember you. Ice cube, make a gym shiver like the wind. What you do? See me with the crew. I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. What up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, man. With another Rikers Island story. But this applies to not only Rikers Island. This applies to everywhere. Everywhere you could ever be incarcerated at. And that is the difference between an inmate and a convict, okay? The difference between an inmate and a convict. The difference between an inmate and a convict. There's definitely a difference there is no gray area. It's either you on one side or you on another side. And that is based on the character flaws that you may or may not have. That's based on the type of person you are, the type of integrity that you hold. And that's what today's Rikers Island story is about. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe. Go ahead, holla at me, man, with a super thanks, man. Drop a little super thanks if you really fuck with your boy. You know what I'm saying? We going hard. We going hard. Also, the Everyone is Toxic podcast is coming. Also, I started a new channel called the Everyone is Toxic channel. This is going to be more fun, more worldwide. This is going to be uh, a lot of things dealing with women, you know, some some dating show stuff, some, some uh, you know, day and game show type stuff. Just just some, some wild shit. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. I'm going to still be promoting that through this channel, but... um. Let's get into the story and let's get into the facts of the situation now. What is the difference between an inmate and a convict? I'll tell you right now. The more respected person to be, and if you had a choice of whether who you decide to be, I would say choose to be what is known as a convict, okay? A convict is somebody who you locked up, you living off morals and principle. And that's basically it. You living off morals and principle. Every decision that you make is made off of morals and principle. You have a high moral fiber, okay? Okay? You are not a sellout. You are loyal to your people, whoever your people may be. For example, for example, in Rikers Island, but also, like I said, in all other places where you can be incarcerated, a convict is one who... It's not too chummy, chummy, buddy, buddy, friendly, friendly with the police. They're not having too many conversations with the officers, the COs, the sheriff, the warren, the warren, the warden, I mean, the deputy. Whatever the hell name for whatever offices is where you have been to jail at or that you know about in your area section where you come from. You feel me? Like, um, a convict is somebody who, if he gets into a situation, he's handling his business on his own. He's not looking for help. He's not looking, he's not looking to get things accomplished by getting police involved in anything. You know, he's not he's not dropping slips on nobody which is snitching on anybody. He's minding his business, you know. Even if he got beef with somebody, you know, some people may deal with beef by dropping the slip. Letting the officers know that somebody who they have an issue with may have drugs or or, or some type of uh, weapon or something in their cell under their bed or something like that or in a secret compartment just to get this person away from them. And for example, this happened to my boy when I was in green, right? So I got into the situation with a, with a couple guys and my mans had two of them things told them things and they knew he did and he was holding weight in it and they was going to jump me and my man was like nah listen we going to war with y'all and y'all know I'm going to clap one of y'all chill that's my man he good right so what happens is two days later he just so happily gets caught randomly with the situation 
And then after that situation happened, then, you know, the dudes, they swarmed in on me. They pulled the inmate move. They pulled the inmate move. You know what I'm saying? Inmates, inmates cooperate with the system, right? They use the system and use it against other people who are locked up like them, right? So you selling out. You're already in jail for doing something harmful to your own people probably. And now you're using the system to go against your people. You know what I'm saying? It's a double whammy. Use a double sellout. Use a double white supremacist if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? The difference between an inmate and a convict is, is inmates, if inmates, I mean, if, if prisoners see police doing too much unnecessary harm to another prisoner, at some point there's going to be a riot and the prisoners are going to deal with that officer in some type of way, right? In some type of way. These are the convicts, you know what I'm saying? The real ones, you feel me? If you if you find out that an officer got knocked out or got called out for a fade, this is usually by a convict and not an inmate. They don't care if you police. They not working with you against nobody else. And they not going to tolerate a certain level of disrespect from you just because you police. They would rather knock you out, catch a new charge, get jumped. Get jumped, catch a new charge, go to the hole, instead of just be violated and humiliated like he not a man. You feel me? With a banana and two apples in his drawers. You feel me? That is the difference between a convict and an inmate. You know what I'm saying? Inmates do funny stuff. Like on Rikers Island, like I said, you know, a dude to feel threatened by somebody else, they'll drop the slip on police. They'll, they'll give little hints. They'll give little hints, you know. They'll... They'll tell somebody else to tell police about something to do with something to do with, you know, their their enemy or somebody who's a potential threat. You know what I'm saying? They'll if, if there's a potential threat and it's somebody who's coming to take control of of the house or dorm or whatever it is, these is the dude to these is the dudes who if they got pulled, they'll go to police and they'll say, hey, listen. This dude is going to mess up the whole thing we got going on in the house. Can you swap him, please? Swap him for somebody on the other side that's not so tough. So we can keep our regime going, right? They work with police. They take orders from police. You know what I'm saying? They take hits out that police give out. That has nothing to do with them. Just to satisfy the police so they can get away with something in the future. That's what an inmate is. A convict is a real nigga. A inmate is a blood clot pussy boy. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.